Welcome back to another episode of Hunting Sodak. It's uh, pretty crappy out today. I'm just gonna try to catch a few fish for you guys. I've already caught three at this spot. I wasn't gonna film a video today. I was just messing around trying to catch a few fish because it's raining and nothing to work on, I guess. So I'm just gonna try to catch a few fish for you guys, but I didn't bring the GoPro. So I might just set this up and show you guys what's up. We're just fishing a little current and they're stacked out there. I've already caught three. I caught three in a row out there. And I might try to try to catch one on an ice rod too, if they're gonna hit a top water. But I might save that for another spot just down the road where there's a lot of smaller fish that'll eat a frog. So I'll set you down out there and we'll see if we can't catch a bunch of fish for you. It's gonna be pretty good. Stay tuned. Uh, bandito bug, it's really beat up. tossing it right out in the current and they're hit I don't know if they're just schooled up feeding out there or what but they're hitting it like right away I had one eat it on the fall there's a fish a little bit better one maybe Be a better one. Sure, fighting. Pretty good one. Probably like a two and a half pounder, I suppose. They're fat. I don't know if they're just just feeding like crazy or something. They, I think they spawned out pretty. Last week they were spawning pretty heavy. So I think she spawned out just sitting in the current feeding like crazy now. So it could get pretty good with this with this wind and the rain. Just fishing right by the highway here in a current. The bass are just stacked. This crowd's just beat up from catching so many fish. It's nuts. Just sit and put it, in it right out in the current there. They're just stacked up feeding. There's a fish. Two in a row, baby. Come on. They're not real big, but they sure fight like crazy. Bending that rod over. Nice little one pounder. It's fun just sit here and catch them. It's awesome. Just sit here and catch them all day. They're just stacked. I'm gonna have to get a new plastic on this thing pretty quick. This one's getting really, yeah. We can catch another fish on it though. Let her sink. Pop, pop. He's got it. Oh, that's a bigger one. He about took the rod out of my hand. Goodness gracious. Oof, duh. This is a digger, boys. I can hardly move him. Oh. About took the rod out of my hand. He's staying down. I don't know what it is. Oh, he's just got a bunch of weeds on him. 
Oh, it's in there. There's a fish in the weeds. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Turns out it wasn't a better fish. He just had a very good amount of weeds on him. Maybe a one pounder. <laughs> and five pounds of weeds. There you have it. Weeds can make any fish feel big, I guess. There it is. Nice little fish. See it, buddy. I don't know how that fish acquired so many weeds on the way in, but he did. Probably had 10 pounds of weeds on. Since these fish are usually a little bit smaller, I'm just gonna Texas rig a little Senko here. See if that doesn't do the trick because I've been missing a lot of hook sets with that bandito bug just because it's a little bit bigger to get it in their mouth. So Texas rig Senko usually works perfect on little guys. I would know because I usually catch a lot of dings. Anyway, we're going to give her an angle. He's got it. This is a better one. He's got it. the bottom of the lip. Eh, probably two pounder. They fight good though. They're healthy fish. Obviously getting enough feed. This is post spawn and look at the bellies on them. Just fatties. Nice healthy little fish. I knew the old Texas Rig Sanko would get the trick done. He's got it. Got him. Got him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, come here boy. Oh, easy now. What the heck? Look at this guy's eyeballs. Oh my gosh. Look at his eyeball. What in the world? Is he going blind or what? He's going blind, I think. He definitely can't see out of there. Nice little cookie cutter fish. 
one and a half pounder, fatty. He can still eat even if he's blind, I guess. All right, on to the next spot. All right, we're here at the next spot. Got hit a lot here on top water. Really small fish, but hopefully I can pull off this ice fishing challenge, this ice rod challenge. So hopefully we can dangle on here. Let's get after it. It's really windy over here. There's no trees protecting this side. So it's the same lake, it's just a different inlet. Got him, got him. On the ice rod, baby. Just like that. There he is, boys. Hey, get back here. Ice rod fishing challenge accomplished. I mean, he ain't real big, that's a fact. But he did get the frog and I did set the hook with an ice fishing rod and I got him in. So there you have it. The ice fishing rod challenge complete. I'm gonna try for another one though cause this one's pretty small, but there it is boys. Finally got it done. Let's get him back in the water. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode on Hunting Sodak. You got to see me catch one on the ice fishing rod. It wasn't super epic. I mean, it was pretty small fish, but later, a little later on this summer, I'm definitely going to try to catch a bigger one on the ice fishing rod. But thanks for tuning in to another episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Likes, don't forget to like, subscribe. Check out my other videos. Check out the Instagram at hunting.sodak. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more videos in the future. Thank you and peace.